Right, this is a very quick video. Let's get straight to it. We need your help. Your help. Okay, so as we've said, we need your help. What we need you guys to do, because we know they're out there, out there, looking at us right now, mm. there are people that have some contacts. Yes, there are, because these people who are watching us right now, they're all racers, they mainly racers. racers, and racers are well-connected, not just with RC racing, but with higher forms of racing like... F1 racing. F1 racing. Now then, some people might argue that the stepping stone into F1, mm. it starts at go-karting. Mm. Because that's where all the kids, they go go-karting. But do you know what? Before they go go-karting, many a young racer started out with RC car racing. There's images of the young Lewis Hamilton on Blue Peter and Oscar Piastri as well is yeah. a national touring car RC champion. Correct. Ayrton Senna was, uh, he enjoyed his RC cars he as well. did indeed. But RC in the UK is at crisis point right now. However, we spent an amazing weekend with the guys at Mendip this weekend. This track, okay, back in the 1970s. 1977 to be precise, the year I was born. Professional <laughs> race drivers such as John Button. Mm -hmm. Jensen Button's dad. Yeah. Set up this track, yeah. set up Mendip, and the sad news is they're being kicked off the site. Yeah, they're being kicked off the site. Because they Mendip, can't afford yeah. the land. Mendip is a on-road track, as is Crystal Palace, an on-road track. I think Crystal Palace has been there slightly longer as well, actually. Uh, they are also on, so it seems, borrowed time. So there's two tracks, but... Cotswolds, the Cotswolds as well. Um, they can't afford to keep their track running either. So that is three very big RC car tracks here in the UK, which within the next month or so are going to be no more. Which is, yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. Really, it's a bit of a crime. Really, let's not forget. Although these are small cars, this is a form of motorsport. This is the form. All the all the characteristics to the cars are the same. Well, I don't need to tell you these guys that they know no, that. They right? know that already. And if you know that the pinnacle of our hobby, of our sport, is F1. And mm -hmm. do you know what? They're not shy of a penny or two, are they? they? certainly not. I mean, how much must a set of tyres for an F1 car cost, do you think? I have no idea, have but no it's got idea. to be a lot, in it? But do you know what? That would probably be a year's rent for most tracks. Yeah. So here's what we're trying to do, right? Can we land this video in front of somebody who can help us, right? You guys are bound to be connected. Share this video, get it out there. RC Racing needs your help. If you're connected in any way, shape or form, get this video in front of somebody, maybe in F1, in touring cars, I don't know, uh, MotoGP, Anything. I don't know. Jensen Button, your dad's legacy, that track. Mm. Come on, man, help us out. Help us out, please. At the moment... I personally think, or we personally think, that RC racing is very, very strong. And the reason I say that is because when we go to events, they are fully booked. Fully booked. So it's not like there aren't enough people doing it, because there is. There's plenty of bums on seats. I remember last year at the Iconic Cup at West London, a guy walked past with his dog, and he came up to me, and he recognised me, from, or us, from the channel and that, and he said, he turned around and he said, I haven't seen it look like this or as busy as this since the good old days, is what he said to me. And we have suggested on this channel that we are in the new golden age of RC. The technology has gone on leaps and bounds since the early days. It's so much more accessible. Yep. Um, there are budget racing like the Tamiya racing that we do here, but the top end stuff like the LMP racing you're doing or the nitro racing, um, the technology is next level. Yeah, it's 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 at a really good stage. There's something for everybody. That's and amazing. that's why this hobby is really important for the foundations of motorsport here in the UK. Can you imagine a brand new on road track that opens up in this in this country, can you imagine how busy that is going to be? Yeah. Sponsored by 
an F1 team. Sponsored by, imagine that, and we oh. blog it, you know what I mean? Sponsored by an F1 team. Um, they could hold sessions there themselves. They could, you know, for young... It, I mean, look. They could do loads of STEM work with local schools. It could... I know. It could go through the roof. Yes. It could it be could. an amazing thing. But, as I say, we've got loads of ideas of things like that that we'd love to do, but we're just two blokes who a couple of years ago started out in a field racing a couple of toy cars, really, and uh, we've come a long way in two years. But we're not in a position where we can help out these big clubs that really do need our help. That is it. All we can do is put the feelers out and see what goes from there. But as for us here at Popalong RC, we are all about growing the hobby of RC car racing, promoting RC car clubs, and doing what we can to help this hobby, this sport, this motorsport, grow and become bigger and better. Um, If you want to give your club a shout out, pop it in the comments down below and we will give your club a little shout out. And Hopefully, in the not too distant future, we might even be able to pop along. So listen, share this video far and wide. Someone's got to be out there who can help this amazing hobby of ours. Share, 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 share. And when you're done sharing, share it one more time. Until the next time, see you soon.